It started in 2003 and it's grown into a fundraising machine and one of the tastiest nights in Fort Wayne. It's the uh, Parkview Foundation's Cook and Men presented by Fifth Third Bank. Uh, and Renita and uh, Darren are here to enlighten us uh, about uh, what is going to take place here coming up in just, what, April 22nd? Yeah, Saturday, April 22nd at the Grand Wayne Center. Mm -hmm. uh, bigger and better. And how would you explain this to folks who have never been? Because this is the first time I went. I was like, I'm in love with this event. And it's an amazing event. It's my favorite event. And I don't say that just because I chair it. <laughs> <laughs> but basically, it's through Parkview Foundation, and it supports women's health. Mm -hmm. And it's 100 plus chefs, such as Darren, mm -hmm. who come and cook their heart out. And you basically get to walk around eating and drinking samples all night long. Yeah, because that's, uh, that's what I, I just remember walking through and going, this is like the best buffet ever. <laughs> it is. And, and it's not just regular food. I mean, no. lobster corn dogs, mm -hmm. just um, um, hand-rolled sushi. Darren, what do you usually do? Banana cream pie. That's right. Actually, yeah. Darren doesn't know this, but the very first time I attended the event, his was the first thing I tried. Uh -huh. So good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's some of the beauty of it is that you walk through and there's, uh, I don't want to say chaos, but I mean, it's not like all the desserts, at least last time I attended, you know, it's just whatever right. is yeah. there, you get. Right. It, well, that's the neat thing about it. Where can you go and give money to a great cause, have a great meal and great entertainment, and try things you've never even tried before? So it's a, it's anything from soups to uh, to beef to uh, like you said, lobster, corn dogs, and uh, all kinds of different interesting things. But of course, the best thing is my banana cream pie. Okay. So there's no there's no competition here as far as uh, bragging rights go. I say that sarcastically because it feels like it's all competition. Oh, men, when you get men together, the <laughs> ego is. Yeah. This year, there's going to be a new twist mm -hmm. we're doing a chef's competition which actually you're going to be a judge on My best job ever i don't have to cook i get to eat and and judge oh you yeah, i'm reaching for, for my wallet right here so <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll talk after the show okay, right, right, right. Uh, yeah okay i am open to bribes by the way i will i will put that out there but uh so uh, again if people want to go already um the VIP the tickets VIP sold, out. sold out so quickly, and actually, Dirk, the event sold out the last several years. Right. Currently, general admission tickets are available, parkview.com backslash cooking men, mm -hmm. and it's $65 for a ticket or 15 at the door if they're available, but I would encourage you to yeah, go online and buy them right away. Gotta get them early, gotta yeah. get them early. See, some of, what are they doing there with the fire extinguisher? That's... I don't even know what that was exactly. So so that's the awesome thing. People can bring props on and do whatever they want. And so we actually had fire extinguisher last year. I can't remember what it was that they made that went with that. I can't, I can't remember either, but I it quite, yeah, it was, it was they, unique for sure. They had quite the crowd. Yeah, you see Kent Horman there. I know he was making deviled eggs last year. Uh, and uh, it's just it's it ranges from some of the most simple but tasty things to some of the most complicated things. Like, uh, how did you make that many? When do you start cooking? Um, I usually start on Wednesday or Thursday, and I make about 250 to 300 pies individually. So it just depends on uh, how many come out in the last batch. But I start on Wednesday, and it takes me about four to six hours, depending on if I get my kids to help. Sometimes they help, sometimes they don't. But yeah. uh, it's fine. It's a great, <laughs> great thing. But we should point out, by the way, Darren does his own cooking, unlike some of the chefs that have the rumor <laughs> is don't. Who shall not be named. Right. Uh -huh. Right, well, I'll, I, I'll, I'll, leave, I'll leave guys' names out, but I can tell you, there's guys that I know purchase things, and they're still good, don't get me oh, wrong, yeah, they're, they're delicious. Very good, yeah. they're very good but yeah. they don't do the same thing and put the same effort in as some of us do. Yeah. Uh, there, there may be some wives that help. Which is, that's, that's I'm good with that, you know, again, yeah, sure, wives, okay. kids, yep. whoever, yeah, I mean, let's be honest, I mean, uh, most of us wouldn't be good cooks if we didn't have some help. That's right. Uh, all right, so uh, the money, by the way, in the few seconds we have left, goes to help the Parkview Foundation do what? That's correct. So it helps un uninsured and underinsured women for breast cancer screening. There's always the theme is for women's health. And so for women in Northeast Indiana who aren't able to afford it, it helps them mm -hmm. diagnose and... And, and treat and, right, and, yeah, and treat. just yeah, so many and, great reasons. And, and that's the thing for a lot of people, they don't, women don't think about themselves, they're always thinking about their family. And so they don't have the ability to go and do that. This creates that that avenue for them to do so. The time to get your tickets is uh, right now and uh, you want to uh, get over there before they're all gone because it will sell out again. Uh, Parkview Foundation's Cooking Men happens on Saturday, April 22nd. See the uh, website or the phone number. We'll be right back. Right